Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DataLearner.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use the Prime Board app. So everything that is contained in the Prime Board, I'm going to walk you through it and how they work and how you too can use them to start automating your trading. Now, for those of you who don't know already, Prime Board is actually a crypto trading board that works with Binance and uh, Huobi. Um, in order to automate your trading it is a quantitative trading board that helps you to buy low and sell high and so far we've been test running this it has been very profitable so if you have not registered for an account already link will be in the video description to sign up for an account and it actually costs 150 usdt to activate this board and start using it for a whole year but if you want to be a part of my team we are going to activate this for just 50 usdt for you so we are going to activate it we'll pay the 100 usdt while you pay 50 usdt to have this board activated for you so if in order to do that there will be links in the video description to join the whatsapp group and equally to sign up for an account so if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel so with that being said um, it is assumed that you already have an account with prime board if you don't have an account there is a video that shows you how to create an account or you can just follow the links below follow the on-screen instruction and create an account for you once you create an account you want to go to the prime board website um, let me just sh show you that you want to go to the prime board website um, this is the website here let it load up and once you're on the website if you click on experience just click on experience now it will give you the option to download the bot to download the app for either your uh, android phone or for your iphones so you just go ahead and download it for any of the phone version that you're using right now because the bot is still new as at the time of making this video you cannot find this app in the play store because it's still undergoing the process of you know being listed and the rest so you can download it here and once you click on download it your phone if you are doing this for the first time it's going to prompt you because you are not downloading this from play store or from your app store it will prompt you that uh, this could harm your system just go ahead and download anyways and once you download open it up you know follow the on-screen instruction to install the app so once you finish installing the app you will need to log in to the prime board uh, when you log in this is what you are going to see in your own case you are not going to see um trades like this you are not going to see any trade like this because you are not doing it for the first time but i'll show you in a, a separate video how to activate all of these and the best settings for your trade so after that once you log in the first thing you want to do is to activate the board it is to activate the board and in order to activate the board if i come in here to profile and i go to my asset here you will see um that there are two wallets here here we have two two wallets we have the fuel wallet and then we have the bonus wallet and each of these whether it is in the fuel or in the bonus each point here if you have 100 points there, it means for the bonus it means it is worth 100 years if you have 100 fuels here like right now it is 18 fuel it means it is worth 18 usdt so whatever you have here this is what you are going to use to activate your account so in order to activate your account you want to come in here to where it says recharge you go and click on recharge here and you go ahead and open up that and once you click on recharge you want to copy this usdt and send the funds that you want to use to activate this account to this um, usdt it is this same usdt that you will equally deposit funds that will be used as gas fee after activating this board for 150 usdt you need at least 20 usdt that will be in the account to be paying for your gas fee so it is here you can equally send that money to so that when you activate your trade it will keep continue to run because since the board has no access to your binance account they cannot withdraw funds from your binance or from your Wobi account the one you deposit here is where they collect their fees from the one you deposit here is where they collect their fees from so if you want to withdraw whatever you have here as you can see there is a withdraw tab here in the middle here so you can equally click here to withdraw your funds that you have here so basically that is what you need to do first you need to come here to recharge after recharging whatever um, amount you want to recharge in this case 170 usdt you use 150 to activate the board and then 20 will be there to be paying for your gas fee but 
if you are going to um if you if we are going to activate the account for you if you want us to activate the account for you we'll provide the usdt where you send your 50 usdt to and then we'll transfer 150 bonus point that you will use to activate your account so once you recharge your account once you recharge your account if nothing if i go back to the home page here is to click on robots so you go ahead and click on robots and when i click on robots the same points that i showed you there you can see we have the fuel here and uh, we equally have the bonus point here. so we have the fuel and the bonus point and if you note beneath it is telling you that 100 fuel is equal equivalent to 100 usdt and then 100 bonus is equivalent to 100 usdt so if my team is going to activate this account for you we'll send 150 points to you that you use to activate this account why you pay only 50 usdt so in that case you can now go if it is the fuel that you have if what you have is the fuel point you go ahead and select fuel here if it is bonus point that you you have here the next thing is to click here and select the bonus so that is how you activate your account any of these points that you have but you must have up to 150 of this point to be able to use this so once you click on it you go ahead the next thing is just to go ahead and click on activate now and automatically you deduct the 150 from whatever options you have you've selected here and your account will be activated that is the second step so after your account has been activated the next thing is to bind your account to the exchange that you want to trade with by going to the api tab here so if i go ahead and click on the api tab you now see that there are two exchanges here that you can use so we have the binance exchange here we have um, the binance exchange and then we have the Huobi exchange so all you just need to do whatever one you want to go ahead and use you just click on it and once you click on it it will bring you to a page like this and when it brings you to a page like this you know, what we need right now to get this binded to our exchange is the access key and the secret key and in order to get this for this um, app we will need to go to binance for instance if it is binance we want to bind we'll need to go to binance and when we are on binance you will need to click on more when you click on more you scroll down here and look for api management so this one here the option for the api management is this one here so you go ahead and click on it and once you click on it you'll be prompted to create an api so here you say they say label api key so you go ahead and put in label the label here you can you know type in whatever you want to label you want to create and then after that you go ahead and click on create api now when you create click on create api binance is going to you know ask you to verify depending on the number of verification stage you have if it is only your phone if it is only your email whatever but in my own case i'm using this three to protect my account so i'll go ahead and click on send code to my uh, email address send code to my um to my phone number and after that i will equally input the google authenticator code here after that this option here will pop up that says submit and then you go ahead and submit once you submit the api key will be created successfully let me open up that again so the api key will be created successfully you are going to see something like this so if i click on this arrow this arrow is going to expand this um so you are going to see something like this and once you click on it you will see your api key and your secret key but before then once you create it you can go ahead and click on edit once you create it, you can go ahead and click on edit and on the binance when you create this first you will need to copy the, the secret key because once the secret key is hidden you can no longer have access to it so you want to click on the secret key and make sure but once you click on edit you will need to go ahead and check make sure that this is checked where it says enable sport and margin trading make sure that this is checked after you check that then you can screw up here and click on you know save after saving you can now copy the secret key after copying the secret key the next thing is to copy the the api key so after that you copy these keys here and come in here paste your secret key here and then the api key will go to the access key after that you go ahead and click on submit and that will be successfully binded then if you are using huobi if you want to bind this with huobi huobi you cannot create api directly from the huobi app so you will need to go to your browser on to your chrome browser and then type in huobi.com and go to the website and sign in to your account so once you sign into your account you go ahead and follow the i'm going to make a video separately on how to bind 
your Wobi and uh, or create API with Wobi and bind it up with your app. So after you've done that, you go ahead and click on bind. That will be binded successfully. And then the next step now will be to start activating your your pairs of trade that you want to trade. Any trade that you want to carry out, that, that is when you now start creating those trades. After you've activated your board, you've binded your board, the next thing is to keep on, you know, to carry out some trades on this account. And in order to do that, you need to come in here to where it says order. So you go in here to the order and click on order. So once you come in here to click on order, it will bring you to the order book here where you have. And automatically, once you successfully bind this, you will see that your balance will be reflecting here. And the balance has to be in USDT for it to be able to reflect here. So the balance you have on your Binance or your Huobi exchange will need to be in USDT for it to be reflecting here. And these are the pairs of trade that you can carry out right here. These are all the pairs that you can trade right here. And in order to do this, once you're on the other page, you go ahead and click on any of these pairs that you want to trade. Let's say I want to carry out this trade. I'll go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, it opens up this way. When it opens up this way, there is a certain icon below here. Um, the setting icon, sorry, this is blocking it, but here, that is where the setting icon is. So I'll go ahead and click on the setting icon. And once I click on the setting icon, it brings me to a page like this. Now, if I want to trade this coin, this is where it becomes tricky. By default, this app approves that the minimum you can trade per, per that is you can buy per trade is actually 15 USDT. It is 15 USDT, you can go below this. It is from 15 and above. And what this means is that whatever setting I'm going to do here, let's say here I have take profit uh, ratio as 1.5%. So if I'm going to carry out this trade, it means that each time this trade sells for me, I am making 1.5% of 15 USDT. But the default, the, uh, the um, best setting we recommend for this is um, actually putting, and this all depends on the amount you have on your account actually. This all depends on the amount you have on your account. Let's say I want the first purchase price to be 50 USDT. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then because I want this to keep trading for me, instead of choosing single, I'll go with circle. So I'll go ahead and select circle because I want it to be repeating rings and repeat this process until I finally stop it. Then here on the order quantity, you want to come in here. The, the, by default, it is seven times. And this seven times, it all depends on the funds you have to be able to carry for this. So by default, it is seven times, but I want to go ahead and change it to three times. I trade between three and five times. The highest I can go per trade is or per pair is five times. So I'll go ahead and trade between three and um, five times. So once I click on three times, I'll go ahead and click on this and make it one percent so once it, it, it the price goes to one percent above one or one percent or thereabout it should take profit and then the margin callback ratio i want to change it to 0 0.1 and if you need explanation on how these things work you see the question mark here this question mark here so just click on it all of these question marks that are attached to it if you click on it it will tell you what that particular um stuff is here so you see here that it says that uh, the margin callback or server means do so you see all of the explanation here so at the end of the day you go ahead but this is what i'm just concerned with and um, it changes from 1.5 to 1 percent and i change this from 0 0.3 to 1 through 0 0.1 once you do that leave every, this other one leave this one as it is and then the next thing is to come in here to the advanced setting and on the advanced setting, we want to check that this is on. This double position, um, this open position double, make sure that it is on. I'll go ahead and toggle that on. And once I toggle that on, now because I choose three times here, here, because I chose three times here, you can see below here that I only have first cover, second cover, and third cover. So what I want to do here is, I want to, so what I'm saying here is that I want to buy two times when this price drops by 3%. When the price of this particular asset I'm buying drops by 3%, I want to buy, let me show you that. Once it drops by 3%, I want to buy two times. And then here I will say when it drops by on the second cover, when it drops, I'm going to change this 3 to 6. When it drops by 6%, I want to buy four times. And then when it drops by, this one will be 9%, I want to buy eight times. 
and from this buying you are buying whenever it drops to this percentage and it goes up by one percent again it will sell and wait for it to buy again so the first one here because it is three times i want the first the second one will be six times so when it drops by six percent i want to buy four times and then when it drops by nine percent i'll just go ahead and put in nine here um i want to buy eight times and after doing this for putting these settings here then if it is five times you are using the next one will be 12 and then the last one will be 15 so um let's do this with these three times alone i'll go ahead and click on update and once i click on update it will tell me update successful I'll go ahead and click on confirm and when i click on confirm the next thing now is to start the trade so you go ahead and click on startup to start this trade so you go ahead and click on this and once you click on start you go ahead and confirm it and the trade has been started successfully so if i come back here um you see that the trade we just carried out here is um the trade we just added now this is it this is the trade we just added right here um this is just the trade we just added right now here so next thing i to explain this to you let me just break it down if i open up this let me break what is here for you now because we actually say the first purchase amount should be 50 usdt that is why you are seeing this here the hold amount is about 49.9999 and then the average price will enter this market at the price when the price was uh, 294 and here the hold amount 250 dollars worth of this token that we bought is this and the current price right now is this and the number of call is still one because we just carried out this trade this number of call is still one and then the coverage price is 285 meaning that when it goes below this the first that our cover which is what we activated there it will be triggered now this coin will not sell this token that is holding here will not sell until the price gets to this amount which is the liquidation price here until it gets to 298 so it will get to 298 dollars before this price this particular token will sell and then buy again so when it sells at 298 it means that we have made profit of the difference between when we bought which is 294 and the 298 so that is what you need to take note of um on on this app that everything is explained here in details so you get an idea of what your token when you are going to make profit from this token so it means that if it doesn't go to 298 you are not going to make profit and if it doesn't get there that is when you will be seeing it showing up here as uh, as red or minus uh, the social percentage minus social percentage so as you can see right here it means you need to hit that target you can see there are liquidation um, prices here that this market has to reach this is the liquidation price that it has to reach before you will make profit from this particular trade so that is another way to carry out a trade with the port and you keep re repeating this process until you keep making pro profit on a daily basis now the next thing i want to show you here is if you want to see what other people are doing here there is equally an affiliate aspect of it that is applied to this you see that the highest ranking is is this three persons that are up here and then the following are those who are equally ranking more if i come in here to total you see that a lot of persons are making a whole lot of money with this board this person has made over three hundred and four thousand um in profit this person has made over this so these are the best ranking that is what we have here as ranking and then notification if you click on notification here you get all the notifications from the board you get your logs if you want access tutorials from this board you see all of the basic tutorials from the board here and so on and then on your profile this is where you carry out asset if you want to withdraw if you want uh, withdrawing means if you start promoting this board whatever the board is paying you it will be paid to your asset account here so all your asset will be here and you'll be getting your funds out of this account so you can go ahead and click on withdraw as you can see down here um if i go ahead and click this this is your withdrawal and then if you want to recharge like i said earlier for any of your trade to be active you need to a fuel here which is in usdt so whatever usdt you transfer to this account will come here as well 
so you need at least 20 usdt here to be carrying at even trade and in order to get that you need to come in here and click on recharge and when you click on recharge a usdt address will be generated for you so you go ahead and send your usdt here and then you can use it to um, actually start paying for the fee because this is what the board has access to this is where they charge their own fee this is where they make their own money please get that right and if you want to transfer points if you want if you have points here that you want to transfer to your dan lines to start registering other people all you just need to do is to click on transfer and you can go ahead and put in the points or number of points you want to transfer you put in the person's id here so the person's id comes in here that which is the person's username and then you put in your security pin the one you created from the beginning when you were creating your account you put in the security pin and click on transfer and those points will successfully be transferred to your downlines that you want to use that you want them to use to you know start activating that is uh, one with the asset tab and um, all of the team members will be registering you will see them under my team here that is where you'll be seeing all of the team members and if you want to invite people to register for this to register under you you go ahead and get the invitation code or you just copy the link here and send to them so this account has this as the invitation code or you copy the link and send to the person and then security center is where you create your password you change your password and the language setting if you want to use a different language you go ahead and add that here so if you start promoting this as an affiliate and you want to be withdrawing your money where it says usdt address go ahead and click on it and then you can now add in your usdt address here and the address will be saved here so whenever you click on withdraw it will automatically be withdrawn to this usdt address that you have added here so basically that is all i have for you in this video tutorial it's just a walkthrough of all that is done here and if you want to see the records of all of the earnings you go to income if i click on income here i'll go ahead and open that up you see the records of all uh, or breakdown of all of the details that you have here this account was just activated and as you can see already is in profit already so it was just activated at the moment of making this video and it is in profit already so you see the breakdown of all um your uh, profits here and then if you want to get the records of all of the trades so you go ahead and click on records and once you click on record it gives you the breakdown of all the trades that have been sold in profit so these are all the trades that i'm carrying out here you see all the different trades right here so that is all you need to know about this prime board app it is something i've test run and it has been working effectively and it is something that i want you to equally test run and you know to be a part of this if you want passive income and so on then this board is worth giving a try so go ahead and try that and see how it works if you have any issue you can always leave a comment and i will definitely answer all of your questions if you want this board if you want to work with me if you want us to grow your team together then there's need to join us on the whatsapp group let me know once you sign up with my link let me know and i'll see how i can equally be giving that points to you that you can use to register your downlines at a very discounted rate so that is all i have for you in this video and i will see you in the next video that i'll be dividing this is just an overview about the app but subsequently i'll be making videos about api binding about trading about signals and so on so that is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video